can't hear you! Oh, yeah, Captain! Who... Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Yo, how's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Ultimate Tur Spike, and I'm going to be playing some SpongeBob SquarePants in Battle for Bikini Bottom. And, uh, this is probably my favorite game of all time, just considering how freaking awesome it is, and of how nostalgic it is, because it, it is literally the first game I have ever owned. And, uh, I think a lot of people can agree on how awesome this game is, just because of, like, if you know uh, the YouTuber Shift, he uh, speedruns this game, and uh, he's like crazy awesome. I don't know if you know him, but um, he's probably my favorite uh, Twitch streamer and uh, YouTuber, honestly. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this. Memory slot one, and empty. Alright, as you can see, the top one, it said 77%. Oh, actually... I'll be right back. Welcome, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror. Enroll. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to find every penny formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my Brad Gatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Is Plankton a genius? Answer yes! Throw at the switch! Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army! Hang on! I want to get a photo for my scrap book! Hey, hello! What do you think you're doing? Oh no, 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 wait, wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No, no! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. I, 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 I. It's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did! So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wiesna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnasser, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this'll work? Sure! Last week I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry, so I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning I had lots of little cookie crumbs! Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever! Good night, SpongeBob! Good night, Patrick! The next morning. <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Whoa! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Wow. Alright. So, that cutscene basically makes it think that uh, SpongeBob and Patrick caused the um, robot outbreak. So, yeah. So it says, Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna leave. I'm. A, I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Meow. 
All right. What a fantastic idea! Oh, actually, he speaks. All right. Okay, good. I don't... <laughs> I actually don't want to read any of these, so... <laughs> or, like, act it out because I'm bad at inter Im impersonations. So. Okay. Press this button to read the signs. Okay. Meow. Meow! Meow! I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Alright. Explore the rest of SpongeBob's house. Alright. So. We need just 50. Alright. Pro strats up in here. Alright. Did you know the PS2 is actually the slowest way to run this game? Um, <laughs> like, it's considered, like, the worst, uh, console to run it on. Especially when you're saving the game like this. Because, like, usually in, in a speed run, you wouldn't even hit save game. But, for this, I actually want to save it. Because I'm going to be triggered if I don't. So... There's usually a lot of mini games inside of SpongeBob's house, but thank you, uh, thank me for not doing it. So I'll just be quiet. Go away, SpongeBob! You're polluting my thinking space. F you, Plankton. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've, I've got, got to bigger out fish how to, to fry. Control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bit That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help! But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. You've got a deal. Dang it, I accidentally just skipped over, like, a joke or whatever that, uh... SpongeBob. Plankton says, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> no more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course, make a it small didn't seem real sad. Day. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You will. Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? Alright, so... Basically, <laughs> I cannot even hear, like, the right audio, so it's a little messed up for me. But, uh, whatever. Those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> Move to another town. I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. <laughs> Alright. So, what we need to do to get the sock um, is uh, basically break everything in his house. And then we need to jump a few more times. To get the golden spatula. And yes, I have 100% completed this game, so. Okay, okay, okay. I know what I'm doing. Jumping, if you take 
this golden spatula. Will you please go away? See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Mm. Don't touch me. F you, Squidward. Why is he such a grumpy Gus? Alright. And you may be thinking, why is this dude that's almost 17 playing a kid's game? Well, this was the first game I ever played, like I said earlier, and it's freaking a nostalgic trip. And I'm sure a lot of people who actually play this game uh, think this game's fire. So, oh yeah, um, <laughs> I've tried to speedrun this game, but I'm not very good. So that's why I'm doing like all these like glitches and everything. I've watched like so many hours of uh, speedrunning in this game and like I was trying to speedrun it but I always got stuck on like the part where well I don't even know if shift even does this anymore but ah crap well right here that I'm doing is like uh, what's it called uh, to where I jump on Squidward's house's nose Squidward's house's nose and you use this to get over here and also to get that um, thing on top of his house. And for some reason they put colli collision on Squidward's house's nose. So, Alright. Enter Jellyfish Fields. And it also loads much slower than the Xbox version. Alright, cutscene. Ah, uh, the rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Stupid Squidward getting chased by a robot. This is what you get for being a jerk. How would someone, like, fly from a jellyfish steam? What the heck? Ow! Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you Whoa, he's you way to too close to the screen. Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual, because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy, and oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but wow. now I'm stung all over. <laughs> Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> you do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish Jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Alright. So, this is the first level. Jellyfish Fields. That's how the announcer says it. This is a teleport box. When you have both of the teleport boxes in the area open, you may teleport between them by jumping inside. Alright, I already know that. But I'm sure other people who haven't played this do not know that. Alright, sorry about that guys, uh, my capture system was being really funky for a second, so yeah. We're all good now. Bam, bam. And, uh, we're gonna be going on here. Uh, alright. So, normally, actually, I'm actually gonna show you guys this glitch. Or, it's not a glitch, it's just more of a, uh, exploit. But, oh, actually, I don't have the hand disabled. Whatever. I'll, I guess we'll have to do it like this then. But, there's this glitch to where you can have, like, the hand disabled. Oh, actually, I forgot you can't even jump down there because the hand isn't disabled. But, when it is disabled with this one glitch, um, you could just jump down there and grab the spatula without doing the, um, whatever it's called, the bungee jumping thing. So, yeah. Um, this game has a lot of really cool glitches, and there's almost no, like, uh, RNG, which is really cool. So that was a checkpoint, and once we die, we'll be respawned there. Um, as far as the difficulty of this game goes, it's not really that hard, but I like how the difficulty in this game 
progressively goes up like a real game should be. Instead of just being like hard, easy, hard, easy, like, um, this is probably the easiest level, which it should be, because it's the first level. And I know I keep getting hit, but, um, I haven't played this game in a bit, so. And when I say a bit, I mean, like, a few months. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna say, like, a half a year, like, six months. So, yeah, literally, I think this is the only time you ever see this, like, uh, those porcupine things being shot out of that thing. You would think it would be, like, multiple happenings, but... Hey, Gary, what's shaking? Wow. Meow. Wow. wow, bungee jump for a golden special. I must be in heaven. All right. This is a bungee hook. Sponge, I get a little, little bungee from it. All right. To bungee from the bungee hook, just jump on... Just jump up and touch it. To dive downward, press the X button. To exit the... All right, I already know. Like... I don't even know why I'm reading that, because, like, this is, like, the easiest thing. Saving game, my boys. But, I just want y'all to know what it says. Even though you guys could just read it, it's just, I don't know. More fun to speak it. Alright, um... I actually might end the episode here. Um... I know it's kind of an awkward place, but um, I'll probably do another episode either tomorrow or the next day because, like, it's already sort of like a 20-minute episode. So, yeah, make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed this, and we'll be going on to the rest of the jellyfish fields, and we'll be taking down the king jellyfish. So, yeah, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and put on that notification bell if you guys want to. So, yeah, you guys are awesome. See ya.